One of the most annoying things about paying for EV charging is it seems like every charging network has its own app, its own RFID card, uh, and they don't talk to each other. So it's different than using a credit card at a gas station. So for example, behind me here is the Shell recharge station. And then further down, there's a blue ID4 there. They're on the charge point. And behind that is Tesla. In the area, we also have Blink. Uh, we also have OpConnect. We have EV Connect. I think I have like a dozen charging apps on my phone right now. But one of the things I've noticed recently is that there's starting to be some roaming or intercommunication between those apps, between those systems. So for example, on this Shell recharge station, I can activate this with my charge point account. And similarly, again, where that blue ID4 is earlier, I used my Shell recharge to activate the charge point session. So let's see how that works. So in this case, I actually started my charging session with the Shell Recharge card. But since I have the dual J-plug, I'm gonna see if I can't activate the second station using my charge point account. So you bring up your charge point account, and uh, if you turn on some of the filters, then you can find stations from other charging networks on here. So for example, this one here, I can take the station ID number, I can find it on here, and now I can use the start charge on my charge point to start the shell recharge. So let's see, I said start charge, and I heard a beep and it's starting to blink. So there's interconnectivity here. So very similarly, I fired up my Shell Recharge app and I'm finding here charge point, Meyer Stewart's fruit port number two. That's this one right here. Which right now isn't activated. That, that earlier car that was here left. Then I asked for pricing, tap for pricing. Tells me 30 cents per kilowatt hour. So I'm gonna say start charge. And now it says authorizing. So let's see if it, Oh, there you go. Now it says plug in. So there you go. I can authorize the charge point station with my shell recharge. So we are starting to see some interconnectivity between the networks. Now I'm not actually going to plug in. I'm going to let this time out or cancel. I've noticed that some of my apps also have Blink, SEMA Connect, EVGO, and some of those other networks that are not native. So they show up there. You can filter for them. But right now, I don't see a way to actually start the session. But it looks like that it's starting to come, which would be a nice thing. And maybe there can be ultimately one app to rule them all. Which interconnectivity or roaming have you seen in apps? Uh, do you see that as the solution? Do you think maybe just paying with a credit card is the way to go? Apple Pay, Google Pay. What do, what do you think is the best way to do this? now? I know plug and charge like Tesla does and some of the DC fast charging networks are starting to do where it reads the VIN and just starts charging. I mean, that's kind of the holy grail. But I think in level two, that's not even possible. I'm not 100% sure. So with that limitation, uh, let me know what you think might be the best way to do this. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.